This is New Cap News with Chris Chacon. Good evening and thank you for joining us. After years of fighting for advanced life care support in the border city, the struggle is finally over for the concerned citizens for Seniors Care Society. Residents now have access to a higher level of care when calling for emergency medical services. Up until now, physicians or nurses had to ride along with patients on their way to the hospital to administer certain medicine, breathing supports and cardiac interventions. As Hannah Tita explains, the society is excited to see their efforts pay off. It feels uh, very gratifying that uh, we feel we're finally making a difference. Friday was a significant day for emergency medical services in the border city. Alberta Health Services, in partnership with Prairie North Health Region, announced one of the three WPD ambulances is now providing paramedic services. We serve notice to our current uh, private provider of uh, ambulance services in Loyminster and surrounding area. To, uh, to start implementing advanced life support services uh, as soon as possible. According to Bill Till, it's something the Concerned Citizens for Senior Care Society has been pushing for for years. It's uh, something we've been going after very actively for, oh, the better part of two years now, and uh, that's when the concern first came to us uh, because it just never occurred to uh, most people around town, including us, said we didn't have it before. Till says despite resistance the society faced over the years, they are relieved to finally have advanced life support care in our city. It's like hammering on a wall, and you hammer and hammer and hammer and nothing happens. And you wonder if you're having an effect at all. And finally the wall collapses. With a catchment population of close to 80,000 people, CEO of Prairie North David Fan says the lack of paramedic services was a public safety issue. Until Friday, medical personnel had to ride along with patients on their way to the hospital to provide life-saving care. Now that we have paramedics working in the ambulance, uh, that will free up the doctors and the nurses. Uh, they can administer certain medications, they can uh, provide uh, uh, ventilation uh, during transport, uh, so those are, those are really critical skill sets uh, that we truly need. Now there are still some complications living in a bi-provincial city. Fan says while both AHS and Prairie North have essentially agreed to follow Alberta protocol with advanced life support services, no official agreement has been created. It's one of the outstanding issues Fan says they are continuing to work on. For New Cap News, I'm Hannah Tita. It's a big weekend for the Kinsman Foundation as a live broadcast of their 40th annual Telemiracle fundraiser begins. However, before their main broadcast, many communities and organizations have already been working behind the scenes. And today, many came out to the Native Friendship Center for a trade show in support of the foundation. Today, we have the Telemiracle trade show going on. So we have a bunch of like silent auction items and there's a 50-50 draw and a bunch of the local businesses type thing are set up with the, for the trade show. 13 vendors were participating and 45 items were up for auctions, with those proceeds being donated to the Telemiracle. Organi organizer Tony Kaminsley says he's glad to host this event as the Telemiracle fundraiser is dear to him. We believe in Telemiracle. They helped out my wife. She had cancer about seven years ago. They helped us out with the travel and accommodations and the meals, and it's a good cause. Well, the trade show wrapped up this afternoon and Kaminsley looks forward to future shows and welcomes all support and donations.